Are you ready to go five pounds down? Well, today's high calorie burn, low impact cardio toning workout can help you do exactly that. Grab your latest dumbbells and let's go. All right, beautiful bees, get your dumbbells completely out of the way and let's get started with some arm circles with high knees. You guys, welcome to the workout. I'm Paula B. I'm your best middle-aged fitness friend and around here we are all about making peace with your menopausal body by finding a healthy weight and moving through the world in ways that feel like love. Do you know? Do you know what feels like love? Because I do and I'm going to share it with you. You know, the thing that for me feels like love is losing weight with the 5-0 method where every single day we do five things that make you say, oh, I had no idea that it could be this simple to lose weight at our age. Every single day we eat the right number of calories, which is not necessarily less than you were eating before. Every single day we drink the right amount of water, which is half your body weight in pounds in fluid ounces of water. Every single day, my friends, we get the right amount of sleep by going to bed at the same time every night, getting up at the same time every morning and not worrying too much about how much of that in between was actual sleep, because sometimes it's not. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers. Every single day we exercise moderately with a beautiful workout like this one that is not necessarily more than you were doing before. And maybe the most important part of the 5-0 method, we manage our minds by finding our thoughts and deciding if they're helpful. And today I have a helpful, not entirely thought for you, I have a helpful phrase for you which is, I'm just gonna tell you straight up, as so many of these helpful thoughts are, this one really is for me. I, I'm in the midst of some chaos in my life right now in a number of ways. And so today's helpful thought is of course, of course, I'm going to get where I'm going. Of course, this is all going to work out. Of course, this is the part where it just feels like a mess because I mean, my house kind of literally is a mess right now. In fact, let's, welcome to my home. Welcome to my messy home, you guys. We are in the middle of renovations right now and and my home is a mess. <laughs> That's why I'm working out so that I can get some of this mess out of my brain <sighs> with a beautiful workout like ours today. Okay, here's the dealio. We've got our lightest dumbbells here. I've got the handy dandy gym bus set for intervals of 20 seconds. We're gonna go back and forth between walking and other low impact cardio toning exercises. And when in doubt, just walk it out. My friends, there's gonna be some that maybe you don't like. There's gonna be some that push you right to the edge of moderate. There's gonna be some that you're like, eh, Paula's doing this one again. Yeah, I am as a matter of fact. <laughs> and help yourself to make this workout work for you. Because of course, this workout is perfect. Let's go ahead and grab those dumbbells, actually. Speaking of, speaking of perfect, let's grab the perfect weight of dumbbells for you, which may or may not be actual dumbbells. Maybe they're water bottles. Maybe you're empty handed today. Maybe you're going to figure out the exact right thing for you. Okay. So when it beeps, we're going to do day breaks. We started here with walking. I don't think I said that out loud and I really apologize for that. But when in doubt, walk it out. My friends, today is a walking with light weights. Here's our day breaks. Hands overhead, swaying gently side to side, feet tapping gently side to side. We're pretending like we can hear Barry Manilow singing day break in the back of my Aunt Marty's car. When it beeps again, we're coming right back to walking and that's what it looks like today. We're going to walk and we're going to do something else. We're going to walk and we're going to do something else. When, oh my gosh, when your lightest dumbbells just got kind of heavy, my friends, of course you can modify, you can moderate, you can moderate my moderate, you can do whatever it takes. When it beeps again, we're doing something I call side shakes because we're going to kind of turn to one side and shake your dumbbells. Turn to the other side and shake your dumbbells the other way. I've got my foot kicking out while we're doing this. Did you notice that this is a little bit of like a high handed, almost like a dumbbell curl? Feel that work in your abs. Feel that work in your arms. When it beeps again, thank goodness. We're coming right back to walking. Here's the thing about having any kind of a weight in your hands. No matter how light your weights are, they might feel heavy for some of these exercises. Drop them, of course. You can make this workout work for you by modifying it whatever way you need to. When it beeps again, we're doing reverse ding-dongs. Hands go one way, the other foot kicks out the other way. <laughs> I, I am so proud of myself right now. That's why I'm laughing. I'm so proud of myself for being able to do this because I thought for sure that some of these transitions, even though we're going from walking into an exercise, that should feel like really easy. I knew for sure that some of these were going to feel, here we go back to walking. I thought for sure 
I mean, we're only, what, three exercises in, but I thought for sure some of these were still gonna really like feel very tricky for me today. My brain is in the mess still. So I wasn't sure how tough the today was gonna feel. When it be again, we're doing front push heel digs. Hands are doing a little front push, one foot at a time, doing a little bit of a heel dig. My friends, of course my house will be clean again. <laughs> some point, but not soon. Of course, I'm gonna get all the way to my goal. Of course, things are going to work out one way or another. Come back to walking. The phrase of course for me feels very helpful, and here's how you know whether or not it feels helpful for you. When you say of course, how do you feel? If you feel hopeful, helpful, happy, any of the H words, what it means again, by the way. We're doing chicken wing high knees. So one knee at a time while you've got your hands basically right underneath your chin or you know thereabouts, somewhere chest level, your arms, your elbows rather, flapping like chicken wings. <laughs> I love this exercise. It cracks me up every time because the chicken wings feel goofy in and of themselves. And then having that high knee with it too, <laughs> we come back to walking, I legitimately feel like a chicken. <laughs> the thing about whether or not something feels helpful is if you feel good when you say it, like literally have a good feeling in your body. If you feel like dread or sorrow or anger or something not good, that means that thought isn't helpful for you. Here we go with speed skaters, my friends. I have officially changed the name. These used to be swooshing skiers. And I have had so many of you tell me that this looks so much more like skating. And I totally agree. I mean, when I named these swooshing skiers, I think I maybe always meant to call them swooshing skaters, but instead I'm calling them speed skaters. Come back to walking. Even though we don't go very fast. <laughs> this. You know what slow is the new fast? You know, at this age, this is as fast as I wanna go for anything ever, so I might as well call it fast, right? Of course, because I can call it anything I want to. <laughs> when it beeps again, we're doing sumo bursts, feet almost uncomfortably wide. We're gonna burst on one side and then burst on the other side, merely thinking about landing that foot just as wide as it was before we started bursting on that side. I, for me, I think that's the hardest part because my feet very naturally want to drift closer. <laughs> Here we come back to walking because that sumo stance, kind of hard to do, right? That's why we're thinking about it with our brains. We're moving with our bodies. Of course, as long as we are not getting injured, this workout is perfect. You guys, when it beeps again, we're doing swimming frogs. Hands are gonna go up overhead, elbows out really, really wide as your elbows come down, bringing out one knee out to the side at a time. Finding a pace that feels moderate for you. I'm noticing my heart rate feeling pretty good. We're not too far into this workout. You might wanna just take a quick second here to kind of figure out how you're feeling. This early in the workout, let's come back to walking. This early in the workout, if you're already feeling like your heart rate is very high, just bring it on down. Come on down a little bit slower with your walking. Bring your hands down a little bit lower on your other cardio toning exercises. When it beeps again, we are doing middle skips. It's exactly what it sounds like. We're pretending like we're skipping, even though we don't have to jump at all, thank goodness. We don't really have to skip, thank goodness. A skill I did not learn until I was apparently older than other people, but of course, I eventually learned it. You know, the thing about of course, for me, is that it reminds me that there's a big picture. For me, sometimes, and by sometimes I mean right now, here we come back to walking, sometimes I get very, very, very caught up in looking at the trees and I forget that there's a forest. When it beeps again, we're doing dancing X's, hands are wide, feet are wide, bringing the opposite elbow towards that opposite knee, squish it in the middle. But here's the thing about reminding yourself that of course there is something else for you. Of course, your goal is still waiting for you. No matter which direction the scale is going today, no matter which direction you are going with your sales, your business, your relationships, your whatever it is that your goal is, of course, here we come back to walking, of course, you're still aiming towards it. Like no matter what is going on right now, as long as you don't quit, you're still getting, getting, right now, present tense, your goal. When it beeps again, 
We are doing butter turns. Hands are going to be going up and down directly in front of your body. As your hands come down, one foot comes out to the side. It's like a hoe down. <laughs> It feels very much like some of those square dancing moves I learned in sixth grade and have long since forgotten. <laughs> but I do love the way this one feels because boy, oh boy, who doggies come back to walking. Boy, oh boy, did my heart rate is right here at this nice moderate level. Not having my hands over my head for every single exercise is helping me moderate this workout. Of course, you can do that for yourself when it beeps again. We're doing booty kicker jacks. Hands are gonna go up overhead for this one. If you would prefer, you are welcome to do something other than this. You could keep your hands a little bit lower to keep your heart rate a little bit lower. You, my friend, can always do whatever works best for you because working harder, just in case I haven't told you that recently, working harder, actually, come back to walking, makes it harder to lose weight. My friends, at this age, we have a harder time recovering from exercise. So when we push ourselves really hard, when it beeps again, by the way, we're doing triceps curl down. One arm gonna curl down, really squeezing from that triceps in the back of your arm. As your arm is curling down, that same side foot tapping out to the side. Awesome job. Hoo wee I love this one. Really thinking about squeezing from the back of your arm. Yeah, we're doing cardio. Yeah, your heart rate's up. Of course, we're thinking about our heart rate. Um, but are you thinking about your muscles too? By having our nice lightest dumbbells in hand, we can help our bodies. Here, come back to walking. We can help our bodies not have to work so hard to recover. Because without estrogen or with lower estrogen than we used to have back in the day, we're not recovering as fast as we used to. When it beeps again, we're doing a little something called push, push, which is just what it sounds like. We're gonna push to the side, push to the side, having your hands start about chest level and then push at about shoulder height. Push and push and push and push. And you guys, you have now officially seen all of the exercises in this workout. We're gonna do this circuit as a circuit one more time. When it beeps again, of course, we're gonna come back to walking. Whew, excellent job. The thing, here we come back to walking, the thing about not being able to recover as fast as we used to. Honestly, there's nothing in and of that self that's like terrible for you, unless, by the way, when it beeps again, we're doing day breaks, unless we continue to push hard every day. You can still push. This is something that I, I really, truly want you to know. If you are not currently losing weight, if you are just enjoying the workouts, having a good time, really kind of tune out when I'm talking about weight loss because it doesn't really apply to you. Let me tell you something. When I tell you that it takes us longer to recover, I am absolutely not telling you that your days of being able to push harder and get stronger and do more are over. Not at all. What that means simply is that you need to focus more on recovery. We're back at walking, by the way. When it beeps again, we're doing side shakes. So shake to one side, shake to the other side. <laughs> that little bit of a biceps curl in there also as we're getting our weights to about shoulder height or lower if you would prefer. So shake, oopsies, shake and shake. That's what I'm kicking behind me. <laughs> instead of trying to kick the same way. This is a new exercise, by the way. I, I quite literally made this one up this morning. I was thinking about something, something a little bit different, something that would feel a little bit strengthy in the middle of our cardio, coming right back to walking. Excellent job. The thing about your body right now at this age is that you are actually still capable of doing pretty much anything you've ever been capable of. Like there's nothing inherently more difficult or harder or worse about your exercises as you get older when it beeps again. By the way, we're doing reverse ding-dongs. Hands go one way, one foot goes out the other way. You're still capable. I am still capable of doing everything that I want to do. The ramifications are different. <laughs> it's really what happens here. It takes longer to recover. So yes, I can still push as hard as I want and still get the benefit of pushing as long as I really, really, really prioritize recovery. I have to recover, you have to recover more than you used to. When it beeps again, we're doing those front push heel digs. Excuse me. Now here's why I don't have us push very hard when we're losing weight. Because that push that takes longer, that recovery that takes longer to, or the push that takes longer to recover from, 
sometimes what happens there, and by sometimes I mean every time I push, it shows up on the scale. There's, there's some inflammation. There's your body doing what your body does, and it's supposed to do that. Here we come back to walking. Your body is supposed to put out inflammation to help you heal, to make your muscles grow, to get your bones stronger. That is actually part of the program as far as your body is concerned. But as far as your brain is concerned, it looks like weight gain. <laughs> when it beeps again, we're doing those chicken wing high knees. And for those of us who think that we have to exercise every day, because I mean, I've told you that we should exercise every day. And the reason I tell you that we should exercise every day is because that can help you figure out what moderate is. Because if you are pushing every day, you will actually gain weight. That inflammation can linger because it's not clearing out. Once inflammation starts lingering, here we come back to walking, then your body's like, wait a second, now I'm in stress mode. Now I'm not clearing this stress. Something's gone wrong. That must mean we're starving to death. I'm gonna go ahead and store fat. This is your body's entire thought process. When it beeps again, we're doing speed skaters that used to be called swooshing skiers. We're making an infinity sign with our hands while we're swooping on one side, swooping on the other, standing on one side, really letting your body move from side to side. Do you feel that work in your side butt, in your inner and outer thighs? Yes, indeed, it's cardio, but boy, oh boy, is this toning as well. There is no such thing as a single type of exercise. Here we come back to walking. Even if you are doing strength, your heart rate is up. Technically, that's good for your heart, even when you're picking up moderately heavy things and putting them back down again. Even when we're doing cardio, when you're moving your body, you are toning your muscles. When it beeps again, we are doing sumo bursts. Speaking of inner and outer thighs, I don't know why I put these two together, but there you go. I did. Sometimes, sometimes I don't think about what I have done until we're on round two, and it's like, wait a second, my inner and outer thighs. I just noticed that with those speed skaters. Now, I'm noticing it here with these sumo bursts, but I guess the good news for my inner thighs whew, is that we're back to walking right now. Excellent, excellent job. My friends, the thing I tell myself all the time is that of course I can do anything I want. Of course I can, because I can. I mean, truly, there's no, <laughs> there's no push police coming for me if I go past moderate today. Wouldn't it be, again, by the way, we're doing swimming frogs, hands up, elbows out nice and wide. The push police are not coming to arrest me if I go too hard or too far today. What's coming for me is inflammation. What's coming for me is a little bit of mind management when I step on the scale and it's up by a pound or two or three because of inflammation, which is absolutely normal, my friends. Scale fluctuations are normal. Sometimes it's from inflammation, sometimes it's from salt. It's not usually what you ate yesterday. I mean, unless it's like a, something super salty. Generally speaking, you can overeat. You can overeat and not have it show up on the scale nearly as much. By the way, when it beeps again, we're doing skip, middle skips. You can overeat and not have it show up on the scale tomorrow, but under drinking or under sleeping almost always show up immediately for me. Overeating, it actually takes several days of overeating before I'll show a blip on the scale. My body fluctuates all the time. Your body fluctuates all the time. Here we come back to walking. And that truly is maybe the hardest part about continuing to push. You're welcome to do it. Of course you can push. But just know that there's some mind management to be done there. When it beeps again, we're doing dancing X's, which means we're gonna have our hands flat wide and our feet wide, meeting that elbow with that knee right there in the middle. Excellent job. And I don't mean to imply that managing your mind is hard. <laughs> I think that's kind of how that sounded. I was just thinking about that. It's, it's not. It is as simple as the other four steps of the 5-0 method. And coming back to walking here, basically it just needs practice. Honestly, as much as anything, mind management just takes practice every single day. Take a look at what you're thinking. Decide, is this actually helping me? Or is this maybe not helping me? Because this doesn't feel very good. And if it doesn't feel very good, I'm not gonna do anything good with it. Here comes butter churns, hands going up and down in front of you, the foot kicking out to the side as though you are very excited about churning butter. <laughs> because why wouldn't you be? Of course, I'm excited about churning butter. 
<laughs> Maybe you are. I'm super glad you ever come back to walking. I'm actually super glad that I don't have to churn butter. I'm very, very grateful for modern conveniences such as grocery stores, you guys. Oh my gosh. We are getting down towards the end of my list here. Coming up next, we are doing booty kicker jacks. Take a quick moment because your hands really are going to be up and swinging. Take a quick moment. How's your heart rate here? If you need to bring this down a little bit, slow it down, totally okay. Bring your hands down, totally okay. Whatever works for you, of course. I mean, honestly, for reals on this one, of course it works for me. I can't see you. <laughs> and even if I could, I promise, even if I could, here we come back to walking, I promise you that what I would be telling you is, oh my gosh, you're doing such a great job. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations for another amazing, awesome workout. I used to work out with people in person, in public, in person, with groups of people. And I will tell you that sometimes I do correct, like if you're doing something like legitimately incorrect, like here we go with triceps curl downs. If you're doing something that I think will injure you, that is when I will tell you, hey, how about you like put your, push your hips back a little bit more, make sure that your elbow isn't locking, things like that. Like I'll give you form tips, but I don't think, I mean, somebody who used to work out with me can correct me. I don't think I was ever one of those trainers. Here we come back to walking. It was like, go harder, push more, do more. I feel like even when I was younger and I was far more capable of recovering from push days, I feel like I was always really on board with people working out in the best way for them. You can correct me if you used to work out with me. <laughs> we go with push, push. Hey, speaking of push, push, oh my gosh, right? What a funny way to end this conversation about pushing or not pushing today. We're gonna push and push and push and push, but honestly, we're not gonna push ourselves too hard because here's the thing about working out. It does not actually drive weight loss. When it beeps again, we're coming back to walking because I do have one final thing for us. We are done. We're not quite finished. I've got one final exercise for us. Oh my gosh, I did not remember that I had told myself I was gonna do this. Okay, we're gonna have our arms in a peekaboo position, which means your elbows are gonna be at shoulder height. Hands are gonna be there for a little bit above your head, but not quite, depending on how long your, the, your forearm is. So peekaboo position, we're gonna do a hip opener. I automatically, oh my gosh, totally stood on my right foot. Didn't mean to do that. Not a problem though. We're just bringing that knee up and opening it out to the side, really thinking for me personally, focusing on keeping my elbows high and really trying to think about how wide I can put that knee. Don't put your arms down, bring that other knee up. Oh my good, okay, I can feel this one. Okay, Paula, hips forward. Wherever you can get to is where you can get to. It's not very far. I'm trying really hard not to actually swing my hip out to the side because of course I can get my knee further over if I open it up further. Okay, okay, that was it. That was, that was more than it. We are better than done. We are finished, my friends. Put your dumbbells completely down. <sighs> Let's cool this down. Let's go ahead and do some arm circles. Oh my gosh. Okay, I got nice and sweaty. Did you get nice and sweaty? Of course. Of course you did. Of course this workout was just so perfect for you. And here's the thing. If this workout did push you a little bit past your moderate, pay attention to your body signals. If you wake up tomorrow and you're like, oh, I'm a little bit sore. Oh, I feel a little bit puffy. If there's a little bit of a fluctuation up on the scale, take tomorrow's workout way, way down. Call it a recovery day. Do a little bit less than normal. No matter what I've got on the schedule for you tomorrow, you, of course, can modify, moderate, make it work for you. Paying attention to your body versus Paula says I have to work out the same every single day. <laughs> Paying attention to your body and the signals that it's sending is honestly the best thing that you can do for your weight loss journey. Listening to yourself, listening to your own wisdom, of course that's the best way to go. Let's open this up. Ah, oh my gosh, feels so good. And close it up, give yourself a great big hug and a pat on your beautiful back. <sighs> what a great job you did today. I am so proud of you. Of course you made it through. Of course this workout is exactly what you needed for today. Of course it was enough. You guys, exercise does not drive weight loss, but boy oh boy can it accidentally drive weight gain. So of course, this was the exact right amount for today. Of course, you know and can feel what's just right for you.
so proud of you. Thank you so much for working out with me. You guys, this was the start of another five day series. I'm so excited. I've got another one for you tomorrow. So make sure that you click that subscribe button before you go and I'll see you tomorrow.